Okay, for the, the Skull series, um, I'm, a I'm a teacher and I've been reading a, a, a series of books for my students, the 39 Clues, and, and the first book in the series is um, The Maze of Bones, where these two kids are essentially orphaned and they are on a treasure hunt, and they go into the catacombs underneath Paris, where it's, if you know your history, they're, they're in the late, 18, or late 1700s, they moved the, the bodies from the cemeteries down below. And they and these two kids are exploring the catacombs, and um, so this is what's kind of had got me looking at um, working with skulls here. Um, usually, my inspiration will come from school. What I'm teaching a couple years ago, I don't know if we have that example here. Uh, no, we don't. It's a whole lot of. Like a whole bunch of flowery, flowery stuff. Um, yeah. Let's see. Oh yeah. Okay. So here, looking at these, I was teaching um, um, about me to my students, and we we're talking a lot about flowers. So obviously, you can see where the flowers are coming in, and also at the same time. I was teaching geometry, so you definitely see a lot of geometry and the flowers coming out along with here, the geometry and, and flowers, and the flowers there, and yeah. And this one here actually is really interesting. Um, I was in um, Scotland a couple summers ago for the um, Fringe Fest, Edinburgh, and I was, happened, I was going to to um, visit the dungeons and there's this young woman walking down the street and she's has like a coat hanging with a coat on it and I'm like what the fuck's that and we started talking and she asked me to come see her one woman show which was Object of Desire it was an um, amazing um, play um, her name is Cora Todd and it was about um, this woman who supposedly falls in love but she her husband turns out to be um, uh, uh, physically and emotionally abusive to her, so and it really inspired me to create this. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll get the desire for this. I did a lot of research on the time period because this play takes place during the 1950s. So I researched a lot of um, imagery from the 50s and colors, and um, really wanted to capture what what she was trying to convey about her um, her. Um, one woman play about domestic abuse. Um, so it could, yeah, when I, I get ideas from whatever has happened, either moves me or whatever, um, you know, I see a lot of. 